Good morning, my people. Just measured my lunch again. I'm actually quite concerned as it's sitting at 3.2. Uh, that's very, very low, but uh, it's not a bad thing at all. Uh, we kind of want it there. So, I still have got some check-ins left to do. Uh, I've just done my own pictures and pretty much boxed off uh, majority of the check-ins today. As on rest days, um, I actually do wake up um, same time, again routine stays the same, uh, but I do start work a little bit early on rest days as well because um, generally on rest days I do my hit intervals, so I'll show you that today. Um, today we've got uh, a few bits planned, uh, we've seen Charlie, my business partner, uh, as we do have a separate video for you all um, as a little bit of a surprise uh, that we go through, but I'll fill you, I'll fill you in on that later. Uh, but for now, I've still got my check-ins left to do, client replies. Um, so I'll crack on with that, get that done. And then we will get my hit intervals done on Stairmaster, which I will show you. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Do you do the uh, the hit fasted or after a first meal? Um, sometimes I do it fasted. So today I'm actually going to do it fasted, um, but it's very low volume, so it doesn't really matter when you do it. Um, I think what what time is it now? Actually, I think I'm actually going to eat my steak first, which is my meal one on rest day, and then I'll probably do my hit um, after that. Um, and show you guys how I do it. Um, so I'll see, I'll probably do that and then I'll probably go for a walk uh, as well. Um, in fact, no, I'll do my hit. I'll eat my steak, do my hit, podcast, then a walk. Um, that's the way it's going to go today. Um, and then we'll show you uh, Normanton Gym as well, which is obviously uh, part of Ultra Flex. Um, it isn't mine. But it's my business partners, obviously, so I'll share the love, show you what's what. It's a great gym as well. Um, each gym is actually a little bit different. Each gym has a bit of a different vibe, some different equipment, and definitely a different atmosphere, and not it, don't you think? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's a good thing, though, because obviously they're not too far away from each other, so we get a lot of people traveling and have like, dual memberships and stuff, which is good. Uh, the main thing I'm looking forward to is the next projects. So we'll cover some of that today as well. Um, what am I doing now? Thing is, I got everything ready last night. So it's like, I always like look for things to do. Um, like once my check-ins are done, which are done now, I have a little break away from work, uh, 10, 15 minutes. So I'd always tend to like get my bits ready. But last night, I, I've got myself in like a routine where I, I'll eat my post cat meal and then I'll put a podcast on and then I'll get all my food um, kind of ready and get all the bits ready for the next day. So it's like today, it's basically, that's like the meal three, which is the oats and stuff. That'll be the last meal for me and Meg. And obviously meal one was already chopped and prepared. And then all the other meals are pretty much ready in, uh, in the fridge. So it's like, yeah, I, I like to be organized. It makes me feel good. Um, Cause once that's done, it's like I can just focus on work, uh, which is exactly what I need. Um, I know what I'm going to do. I need to do my checking. Yeah, I need to do my own checking. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, do my own checking. Get the water in. Uh, normally, every day, we always eat breakfast at the same time, uh, which is around half past seven. So we keep the same routine every single day. And I think that's something that I attribute to keeping my sleep um, great. Uh, apart from last night, Meg was fidgeting and jumping up and down. So that, that, that definitely had a bit of a knock on effect on the sleep. Um, but, you know, we move forward. Nevertheless, we do. Um, one tip as well, guys. Don't actually use one cal spray. Put your quality oils into your one cal spray 
and use those. So I prefer safflower oil, macadamia nut, and a little bit of extra virgin oil or olive oil. Um, I just put it in here and I use that instead, and then I give it a little wipe. Not only it actually is much better for you, but it's much better for your pan as well. Because when you actually read ingredients on the back of this, it's just normal sunflower oil with water and a lot of shit. So not what you want. No. It's a bit of a fail today. Fresh eggs, that's what happens. How are you? Uh, how are you doing today, mate? I'm good. Yeah. I've been finished all my work. Got a plan done for a new client, which is exciting because she actually comes to the gym. So, Crystal, if you're watching it, this was the day that that happened, um, and she seems pretty happy with everything as well. So, I um, I like working with people who are from different avenues of life, and obviously she's. A full-time mum, so very busy, and she's also a um, a nurse as well. So having to try and juggle that and still smash her goals, cause she loves to train hard. She she comes to the gym. She's literally probably there more than me. Every time I'm there, she's she's there. So she she loves it. So I'm excited to see how things can go, cause we're gonna get her back on stage next year, which will be really exciting. But no, yeah, I'm feeling good, thanks for asking. <laughs> no worries, bro. I don't know why, but I've got in a habit of just doing the work in that little spot downstairs. And I can't get out of that habit, so my office gets used for more learning and podcasts, which is weird. Um, I'm sure in time I'll probably adjust back upstairs for my work but at the moment I just feel like I can really zone in in my little chair <laughs> so that's what I'm sticking to for now um, as that's like my comfy uh, productive work spot. Let's see a multi-topic episode we was actually going to do just the one topic but Obviously, Cooper went over his off-season plans in the last video. Yeah. Are there any differences between yours and his, obviously? Like um, yeah, so obviously, like, the biggest difference, probably, um, it seems though I was probably a little bit more open about things on Instagram, um, is probably the assistant side of stuff. Like, Cooper will have the 25 weeks worth of a push, whereas, obviously, for a woman, um, especially one that wants to stay feminine and healthy, um, 25 weeks on cycle would not be the ideal obviously when you go into a prep you are probably going to be on for a little bit longer um, just because of if you're doing more than one competition and the amount of time that you probably need to be on before your first one to have the look that you want to on stage you are going to be on for a lot longer than what you would um, normally so obviously my kind of assistance push cycles will be eight weeks long Obviously, compared to Cuba's 25 weeks, it's less than kind of half the time on. and um, That will allow us to have a decent amount of push, but also have the same amount of time off, which will keep things or side effects as, as minimal as possible. Obviously, there is risks that come with, with everything, but that's uh, an element or the level of risk that I'm willing to take so that's probably the biggest difference really in terms of like food and the upping of food and training and and kind of the approach that we'll take with training will pretty much be the same I have really good recovery capabilities anyway so regardless of whether I'm um, in a push or 
off a push uh, doesn't really make a difference for me in terms of kind of like my training and, and whatnot and if we need to pull back with it and, and reset or, or do anything in terms of foods then we will do but it all just depends on the look, depends on the feel, uh, depends on how things are progressing as to whether we make any changes but yeah that's probably the biggest difference between uh, me and Cuba uh, but everything else really in terms of approach is the same I'm actually really excited for this off season I was actually in the gym yesterday thinking oh I, I already can't wait to see what progress we can we can make in this off season to, to bring something to the stage because I, I've not yet been able to bring something that's obviously truly worthy of anything that's anything greater than a, than a top 10 um, because I was really tiny um, when I first started obviously my progress into the into the figure field and people probably think oh well why have you not really got there then uh, sorry why have you not got to that point yet since the since it's been that amount of time and honestly it's because I don't want to push things to the point where I start to not look like a lady anymore I don't want to lose my hair I don't want to get bad skin and I will be able to get to that position it'll just take me a little bit longer and like to me time is time and if it takes me time then it takes me time I don't want to rush other people or other ends of the spectrum and that's absolutely fine like that's your choice I'm not saying that that's a bad thing or it's a good thing but in terms of my personal choice that's the reason or oh, that's the way that I want to actually do things and that's not Cooper's choice that is my choice um so yeah that's probably the the, the shenanigans and kind of my thought process towards things at the moment and do you know what it was actually quite good last week because the guy who was the head judge for my competition who actually knows my bikini sponsor quite well um, I asked him for some feedback and he'd obviously had a really lengthy time away from home um, with back to back shows and I think that it was his first time doing some head judging um, which was obviously really exciting for him so he actually got back to me last week um, and I didn't expect the intensive reply that he actually gave me. I was so appreciative of that. It it was it. There was a lot of things that obviously we we knew that most of it we knew that needed to be different. But for someone to actually have the time of day to to sit there and speak to me in person and also give me an intensive reply in terms of comparisons from other competitors in the show compared to my physique was really 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 good and also kind of put mine and Cuba's mind at ease knowing that the kind of focuses that we have are something that the judges are looking for so yeah exciting stuff just a lot more depth in the back needed lots more detail well not detail just muscle mass in the back of my legs needed um, and overall just the 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 density and muscle maturity that's that's needed to get that next level of leanness without it really compromising the size and um, because if we would have pushed things this year I probably just would have looked like a withered prune and um, because I, I grew a lot of new muscle tissue in in prep this time and to be honest we, we didn't really want to risk losing it for the sake of probably just getting a couple of places higher um, because the muscle maturity and muscle mass just wasn't there just yet to, to get that so that's what we will do for 2023 um, and I do believe that, that with my shape with the added size and, and kind of the, 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 the dry gnarly look that we will bring um, I think that it will be very competitive um, maybe if you ask me in prep in a year and a half time maybe I'll not say that but <laughs> um, yeah I'm, I'm excited so you can follow the journey along or as Cuba Ruby would say follow the process along five minute warm up get my head switched on to get murdered on the stairs looking forward to it actually makes me feel so good after and 
it's allowing me to stay super fit within the training. Okay, that's my normal pace for a morning walk. So as you can see, even when I'm walking for my 20 minutes that I do every morning before I take dogs out, the pace isn't low. later that last interval hits hard let me tell you Soon, time to jump in the sauna. Not sure there's space for both of us to fit in there and film, you know. Oh no. <laughs> we won't, but I'm gonna have to get out of here. This is pretty much how a rest day goes from the time I wake up bright and early, get my work done, catch up. All the client work is always priority before I even go to social media, before I go on a private phone. Client work is always the one that gets done first. And then whatever podcast I need to get done, whatever work I need to get do, my HIT cardio, which I do every rest day now uh, to keep my fitness levels up. And then I jump in the sauna for 20 minutes, bath, and then we'll probably have a bit of a day out and then go and see Charlie. So big day, big day to go ahead and look at this new canvas. I've actually got this canvas to go up in my little cardio room slash recovery room and then I've got it to go up upstairs in my office as well and it's in the kitchen so all the canvases everywhere I know. Meal 2 getting warmed up I actually removed the rice from meal 2 and added it in later on simply because I want to eat a little bit more later I did three or four months at home mm -hmm. and then back again yeah. just rehearsals two months and then we should do a lot of like a lot of seasonal. Work meeting about to go down Stuff. with MK yeah. coaching. Uh, I so like you'll be able to hear some snippets, yeah. but mainly yeah. you'll get uh, the background story. stuff. How do you feel that went, Meg? Yeah? 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 I was in the bath when she got here, I was like, oh no. <laughs> really quickly, get, get myself sorted. <laughs> got the uh, American bread on the job. The only bread that is just worthy of mentioning. It Ezekiel actually, bread. It actually came quicker. It's actually amazing. It came quicker than Zinsby's order. What the Ezekiel bread did? Yeah. I ordered it from an online food store in America and it came with it. Do you want it on top or? I would do it on top or? Do you want that on the These are American English muffins or English English muffins? American English muffins. <laughs> <laughs> the proper ones, American ones. Everyone's like, what? The American company is English. <laughs> Does that clear it up there? Yeah, I 
and then you would slow the calories down and go up slow from there. But, but that's the caveat, right? As soon as he said that last sentence, don't get that, that, put, that put a bit of check on you, right? That put a bit of, okay, let's not piece for everybody. Yes. So he wanted to do six days a week, but he wouldn't do it with me because I didn't know how to take it. So, so now my people, I'm actually going to show you what I do and how I get my stuff ready for the following day. For the training day, rest day is quite easy. Uh, it's training day food that does require a lot of messing. So I will show you exactly what I do and how. Step by step. <laughs> so to start with, obviously I just get the meat ready and I kind of put it all together once I chuck it on the pan. So that's Meg's meal too. Uh, with this, she'll have potatoes. Uh, that's just 100 on the steak, veggies. Uh, but then, obviously, I don't do the potatoes now. We do the potato fresh in the air fryer. Uh, make chips. So that's Meg's rice for her training there already portioned out. That's my pre-workout meal. Rice and wild salmon. And meal five, rice and wild salmon. Already... Uh, portioned out and weighed out. Again, people always say, why do you weigh your veggies? Because I want things to be accurate, and veggies do have calories as well. So it's more for accuracy of my macros. Exactly why I, weigh my, I do always weigh my veggies. Um, and I weigh Meg's veggies as well, um, simply because her tummy cannot handle an awful lot anyway. So I do always make a point of weighing her veggies as well, just so she don't have too much. Um, and again, I like things to be accurate within my own food and her food. So exactly why we pretty much tend to weigh everything and stay on top of that as well. So this is obviously our meal two, which I will have uh, with potatoes, uh, 350 grams of potatoes and 100 grams of pineapple with this meal as well. Um, and I actually have my own separate shelf in the fridge that I put it on, which is quite nice. Uh, I do like that a lot. So now it's going to be pretty happy. Like, could you get me some uh, uh, pineapple, please, darling? So lots of people complain that the body of food is boring, but the taste nice. I just think, again, it's like an effort. If you want to be hardcore and eat boring, plain chicken and rice year round, you go ahead and do that, but I, I don't really want to eat stuff that doesn't really taste well, because I know I just won't even chew it properly. I'll just throw it in, drink some water, and just kind of, uh, yeah, just kind of swallow it. If you don't chew your food and you simply swallow it, digestion is not going to be great. Let me tell you that for nothing. I actually think that there's two types of people there. There's people that complain that people make it too fancy and make people it too complicated, and two pe and then the other people that obviously don't enjoy it because they think that their bodybuilding meals have to taste like shit, really. So if you're a person people that likes. Can't if you're a person that likes simplicity and you think it's overcomplicated, keep it simple. If you're a person that complains about the fact that it tastes like shit, make it a bit more fancy. Play that. up to maximum heat and then turn it right down. That's another tip. Omelette that's done for tomorrow. I've actually had eggs for breakfast and before bed. Um, I have two whole eggs with 100 grams of chicken before bed. And then I have two whole eggs and 100 ml of egg whites uh, with a meal one with cream of rice and JP ISO whey. Uh, my favorite at the moment from JP range, obviously is um, the white chocolate coconut which I have shown on previous episodes that's definitely my go-to um, it's so so good I don't know why it's just something about the flavour I really really like um, ticks the boxes for me for sure there's a couple of things that I have promised to myself and to Meg during prep I'm beginning of prep really and that was just down to me just getting lazy last off season which I'm not going to let happen because 
I'm staying on top of my cardio, my HIT work, which I never did previously. And that's making a dramatic difference. I'm sitting at 253 now, and I literally feel like I'm 220 because I'm that fit still. Um, so another thing that I did promise to myself and Meg is that I will continue to the cooking because one, I'm just so much better at it, and two, I really do enjoy it and it keeps me in a good routine. And like I said to you guys, for me, routine is everything. It's what genuinely gives me a lot of happiness. Like the times where I'm not happy and stressed and ratty um, is when I lose routine, as Meg can probably agree, and when I simply get lazy. Um, and that is not a productive place to be, and I'm not going to let that happen uh, again. And I've managed to pretty much keep it all entire off season towards the end where I just got myself a little bit too sloppy into it. When I got a little bit too, uh, too, too uh, out of shape. But again, learning from mistakes. We don't let that happen again. Um, to be honest, it's a conversation I actually had with someone the other day. It's like, the reason why people lose the feeling they get on prep is because they lose that immediate gratification um, that we see changes every day, etc. It's almost like, I've lost that now, but what I haven't lost is the vision and the goal that I have next and little stepping stones that I need to do and tick off to work towards that. And again, that is still daily action towards them and that is still winning the day. So the excitement for me to get out of bed and wake up is still very much there because I've got all these stepping stones and goals that I need to tick off throughout my off season with my business, with what I do. And even little things like waking up in the morning and going through this process, like I wake up and I look forward to it because it's almost like a task and a little challenge that I've set out for myself to do every morning. If you treat your life almost like a, a daily challenge, a daily to-do list and a daily, a daily self tasks, you get that gratification on a daily basis through just ticking all these tasks off. And that's something that has kept me driven a lot more than ever before, and I'm very much enjoying it. So, something for your reference, guys. If you lose the sight of your goal, you will lose the drive with it. So, if you don't want to lose the drive with it, it's simple. Set goals, set little tasks that you have throughout your day, and attack them, get them done. That is... Uh, how the fridge looks guys um, we've got our intro workout drinks meals two uh, meals three meals five um, so literally the only thing that needs getting done is meals number one and meals number six which are pre ready made um, in the other fridge as raw ingredients that just need doing fresh on the pan so that is uh, pretty much what my little routine looks like to get everything ready. What's the uh, what's the plan for you this afternoon then, Meg? So Cooper's obviously going to see uh, Charlie to have his little meeting, um, and I'm gonna go with my. Made of honour, Ashton, um, to find a seat for the wedding um, because I'd organised all the bridesmaids' dresses and I was like, something I've forgotten. I was like, oh yeah, Ashton's seat. So we're going to go and get that sorted this afternoon so that it's done and dusted. <laughs> It's uh, meal number nine of the day. Favourite meal. Savour every bite. Because when the people who less about it, they assumed it was just eating chicken.
which, you know, to the public's wrong because they need to know the truth, but at the same time, they kind of protect the body in this sport. Because back then it was able to be seen and people would idolise it and look to it like, wow, these guys are just hard workers, they're right. in the gym, building weights and building great physiques. See us back. Now, the main from bodybuilding. What? Shouldn't have made contact with Charles. And it was a blast, to be honest. Um, check out the video. It's uh, it's a video that, that is a decent opportunity for someone looking um, for some extra money. <laughs> if they are willing to put the effort in and actually help us uh, as we are looking for future sites and anyone that is willing to help us find them will be rewarded, uh, as Charlie said in the video. So any help would be appreciated uh, with that as well, guys. Uh, but nevertheless, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, I'm actually pretty tired and it's like 6 p.m. So you know what that means. Me and Mega are probably gonna be back for like seven. Um, but nevertheless, I'm gonna get the last meals on now. Cream of rice is cooking. Um, get all the bits ready that we need to get ready. And then we're gonna have a little chill, uh, some downtime together, get in bed and start all over again. Thank you so much guys. Please like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff, comment below. Um, appreciate you all. Until next time. That was a bit weird.